Hello people of the internet, my name is Johnny and welcome to my review on Willy's Wonderland. As you can see, I have my t-shirt right here. This is my terrible attempt at a Nicolas Cage janitor cosplay. I hope you enjoy it. <laughs> right off the bat, as you can see, there are going to be two sections of this video. A spoiler-free section and a spoiler section. So if you have not seen the movie yet, I highly recommend clicking off once I get to that spoiler section of the video. Even though the film has been out for a little while now, I do just want to make sure if people haven't seen it and they still don't want to be spoiled, I'm perfectly fine with that. Again, I highly recommend clicking off once we get to the spoiler section. So I saw the movie on release date, which I believe was the 12th of February. And I'm gonna be frank, I enjoyed it. I'm not gonna lie, I don't I don't think it's a bad movie. Out of 10, I would probably give it maybe like a 7. Would I watch it again? Sure, probably on like special occasions though, on like Halloween, and especially only with friends. This movie is really meant to not be serious, um, and thankfully it didn't take itself too seriously in the film. I, I feel like they did a very good job on not taking it too seriously, while also, you know, still bringing an enjoyable movie to viewers. It's hard to describe it, because it's such an interesting film. They really tried to do a lot here, and they, to be fair, they really did succeed in doing a lot, especially with such a small company behind it, and that is something I am still shocked about to this day. Not only were they able to make a pretty banger film, but they also, way before release date, had a large audience behind the film. Sure, you could chalk that up to all the FNAF fans who are waiting on the FNAF movie getting excited for this movie because, I mean, let's be real here, it's probably the closest thing we have to the FNAF movie before it's being released right now. Before Willy's, all we had was the banana splits, and my god, I do not want the FNAF movie to be anything like that movie. And I realize I'm gonna be jumping from topic to topic because I don't really have a script for this, I just want to talk about the movie because I really do enjoy it. It was funny, again, don't go into it expecting to be scared, while it is a horror movie, it's not really that scary in my opinion. It's definitely more of an action comedy, um, but you know, with horror elements in there. But again, even with all those combinations of genres, I feel like they pulled it off pretty well. So giving a quick rundown again, no spoilers just yet, don't worry. Nicolas Cage, who is, is very clearly me, I am the janitor. I actually starred in this movie. I am. I, that was me, up on screen. He's riding along in his car, it breaks down, and some mysterious dude offers to fix his car if he spends the night at Willy's just cleaning the place. And as you see in the trailers, as you see in all the teasers that they release, which by the way, can I just say, great marketing for this movie so far? I say so far, it's out already. They release like new clips like almost every day leading up to the release of the movie. They did a great job teasing it, and I'm sure you've seen, you can see it in the reflection of my sunglasses right now, the amazing scene between the janitor and Ozzy the ostrich. The action is on point. Really, I couldn't have asked for anything better because it was really good, the action in the movie. Each character had their own section of the movie, and as, okay, I will say, going into the movie, I was a little skeptical about how they were going to show off all of the animatronics, because there's like eight robots in the movie, so I was like, okay, that's a lot, um, I hope they all get enough screen time, and I was shocked that they all did. They do go one by one, killing off the animatronics, so some of them get more screen time than others, the actors were alright. Um, of course, you know, Nicolas Cage steals the show, even though he doesn't talk throughout the entire movie. He doesn't say a single word. He still kills it with the action. It's amazing. I probably should have gotten a script for this, because I'm all over the place. I hope they do a sequel, um, because I think it would be very interesting to explore more of this world. There's a whole backstory behind the place, which I'll get into shortly in the spoiler section, um, that I would love to learn more about. So I think that's basically it. I'm about ready to talk, uh, spoilers, so again, click off now if you don't want to be spoiled. But yeah, closing thoughts, solid 7 out of 10, really enjoyed it, action was great, acting was very, very poggers from everyone all around. Comedy was nice too, um, but again, if you go into the movie expecting to be scared, uh, you're not gonna have a fun time. If you go into it with the right mindset, uh, thinking, all right, this movie's not taking itself too seriously. It's supposed to be a funny action beat em up with Nicolas Cage and robots. If you go into the movie with that mindset, you'll have a fun time. So now, hopefully, everyone who doesn't want to be spoiled has already clicked off because I'm gonna talk spoilers right now. Wow. <laughs> okay, where where to begin? Let's start with the connections uh, between this movie 
and FNAF because that's being talked about a lot right now and I want I want to share my thoughts on it. So as we all know, this movie was going to originally be very very similar to FNAF. There was a bear animatronic, there was five missing kids, there was a killer in a robot suit, there was a pirate's cove, there was there was so much stuff where I believe Scott and Blumhouse had to reach out to them and say, hey, maybe change the movie up a bit, and they had to change it. Unfortunately, there are still quite a few connections uh, to FNAF, which did kind of, it kind of brought me out of the movie just because I was thinking, okay, this is kind of like FNAF. I can see where they maybe didn't change this part of the script. Now, I'm not saying it's a FNAF ripoff. I'm not saying it was inspired by FNAF because I know people get really upset when you say that about Willy's Wonderland. Yeah, there is still quite a few connections, especially the murderer, whose name is William, luring kids into the pizzeria with a mascot costume and killing them. And guess how many kids there were? Five. Yeah, when that came up, I was like, oh my god, you have got to be kidding me. There's quite a few more things, like a power outage, and then Willy, uh, Willy the Weasel appears, just like how when you lose power in FNAF 1, Freddy will appear. Uh, there was also a character who was pretending not to be like the others, I believe it was Cammy Chameleon, who was trying to trick one of the teenagers into thinking, oh, I got possessed into this body unwillingly. I didn't want this. I don't want this, you know, afterlife. But of course, they turned out to be just as evil as all of the other animatronics. Which, can I just say, the kills in this movie, and the way the animatronics set up killing the teenagers, banger, dude. Absolutely amazing. I will say, I didn't really care much for the teenagers because they just weren't written well. I'll be honest, I, I didn't really care when one of them died. Though Nighty Nights kill on one of the teens, amazing. I didn't see that coming at all because they were just singing a song on stage and then boom! You've been stabbed with a sword, which to be fair, probably shouldn't kill you because it really should be like foam and not an actual blade. But yeah, the kills were great. Um, I'll talk about the sex scene or whatever. It's an R-rated movie. It's rated 18+. plus. We, we knew it was going to happen. We saw it in the trailers. Went on for probably a bit longer than it should have, but, you know, we were expecting it. It's whatever. I honestly see too many people complaining about it, um, and I think those are all the... FNAF kid fans who are like, oh, it's it's just like FNAF. I'm gonna I'm gonna go see it. Oh no, what are they doing? Why is the, why is Audie the alligator just watching them do it? I really enjoyed the kills for the characters as well, uh, especially towards the end. They got pretty good at the end, especially the big fight with Willy. That was amazing. Tito the turtle, by the way, hilarious character. He spoke in Spanish the entire movie, and the way he got killed off was hilarious. Siren Sarah got a lot more attention than I thought she would. Uh, she was kind of like the the uh, the final character to be killed off, besides Tito. Uh, I believe they killed him when they were like driving away from the place when they got out. I honestly don't know if Sarah died in the explosion. So I feel like if they were to do a movie where it was a sequel and not a prequel, it would probably start with uh, Sarah. The big twist at the end, by the way, uh, was something we kind of saw coming. You know, they they set it up pretty clearly at the beginning, where these guys know the the backstory. Or, I say these guys, I mean like the owners and the cops, they know about the backstory of Willy's. So the twist of them feeding them, it didn't shock me, because they kind of set it up already, so I saw it coming. Yeah, at the very beginning, you can tell that the person that is renovating the place, who wants to reopen it, and the person that is fixing... Actually, I, I don't know why I did this, because he did fix uh, Cage's his car. So, I guess, and the guy who fixed his car, they were inside of the whole operation. Also, I don't know why Willy killed... The, uh, the police officer. Why did he do that? He was on their side. She was on his side. So I don't know why he did that. That was kind of weird to me uh, when I saw that. I really did enjoy it and I fully support the people making the movie as they move forward with whatever they're doing, whether it be another movie in the Willy's Wonderland franchise or if it's something different. I want to see what they do next. So yeah, that's it. Sorry if I didn't touch upon something that I probably should have. Um, again, maybe I should have written a script for this. But I just wanted to talk about the movie because I enjoyed it. I need to stop saying that, but I enjoyed it. So yeah, that's it. Go watch it. Really, go watch it. Again, under those circumstances, but go watch it. So that's the end of this mess of a video. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you all on the flip side.